Hi, I'm Bobby, and in today's video I'm going to be doing my November TBR game. So quickly I want to talk about the books that I read in October. It is currently the 26th of October, so I've still got a little bit of time to finish the books I'm reading, but probably not enough time to finish them all. So this is the stack of books that I had from last month. Basically, right, Coraline, haven't read yet, might read this week. The Prestige, really won't get to this week. Nevermore, I ended up... That was a bookmark. Nevermore, I ended up deciding to skip, and I went straight for Wondersmith, which I'm like two thirds of the way through it. So I'm probably going to finish that this week, but I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and I can't wait to get to the sequel. Hi, Pox. I never got to, obviously, but... I'm hoping I'll find time to fit it in in November anyway. We'll see. And then Rat Queens, I literally read just now. It didn't take very long, it's a graphic novel. But, you know, ticked it off. I also had a couple of ebooks to read. I was in the middle of The Girl Who Drank the Moon at the beginning of the month, and I finished that. It was okay, nothing special. A bit anticlimactic, I think. But, you know, the characters were fun, and I liked the idea behind it, so it was okay. And then I started reading A Gathering of Shadows. I'm finding it quite a fast-paced book. I'm only about 100 pages through it at this point, and it's like a 400-page book, 500-page book, I think. So I might be able to finish it this week. I'm really going to try. Otherwise, I'm just going to try and squeeze in the end of it at the beginning of November. But basically, I didn't finish all of my books, so... I have to have a punishment for November. And I mentioned in last month's video that no matter how many books I don't complete, I'm only going to add one punishment because otherwise it's just going to get completely out of hand and I end up having to read about 20 books. It's already getting out of hand with having this month's books. It's already out of hand. I can't be doing it. <laughs> but now let's get on with the game. So because I didn't finish all of my books last month, I am taking six rolls today. And last month I ended up over here. So I'm just going to put my little figure right on this pink square here where it was last time. And then we shall begin our rolls. So roll number one is a four. One, two, three, four. Dark blue is a fantasy. So for my first roll I landed on fantasy and for this one I have chosen City of Breath by S.A. Shackleborty. This is a really hyped book on YouTube at the moment. I don't know a ton about it. I believe it starts with a con woman who doesn't believe in magic and she accidentally summons a jinn and they go on a quest. I don't know a lot about this series but it is really popular at the moment and I'm really intrigued to find out more about it. I believe it is a political fantasy, like court politics. It sounds quite fun and there's magic and maybe some battles or something. It's the description I read about it said about there were six Jin tribes. Um, so I'm guessing there's some kind of battle going on. But I, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out this month. Okay, and then roll number two is a zero, and zero means we're taking a book from our TBR mug, so I'm just going to stick my hand in and pick a random piece of paper, oh, that one escaped, but this is the one I've got, it is Twenties Girl by Sophie Kinsella. So for my second roll I got a zero, which meant that I had to choose my book from my TBR mug. And the title I pulled was Twenties Girl by Sophie Kinsella. So this is an adult contemporary book, which I've had since about 2012 or 2013. I initially bought this book to take away on holiday with me one time. And I didn't know anything about it, I've never read this author before. And I went on holiday, read about, I don't know, probably 20 pages. And then my mum told me she didn't like the author, so I just didn't read it. But it's a well-travelled book. It's been to Italy. Anyway, this is a contemporary novel about a girl called Lara, who is in her 20s. And she goes to her great-aunt's funeral and meets her great-aunt's ghost. From what it says in the blurb, 
they have to go on a hunt for the great aunt's missing necklace and it somehow results in Lara having some romance. It sounds a bit trashy, but it might be fun. So I think it's supposed to be like rom-com styles, but it might be an easy read, so that should help me get through all my books this month. And then roll number three is seven. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've passed go, which means I'm going to add an extra roll today. And I've landed on a yellow, which is a classic. For my third roll, I landed on classic. And for this book, I have chosen The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now, the Amazon classic version of this book is less than 60 pages long. So I'm not entirely sure if it's like the full story. It's confused me a bit. But I'm going to read that. And it shouldn't take me too long. Like, maybe one train journey to work. In any case, most people probably have an idea about this book. I've only got a vague idea about it. But it is about a man who has two opposing personalities. So one that's like the good guy and one is a bit evil, I believe. And I believe it's supposed to be representing mental health, but I don't really know that much about it. I'm quite intrigued to actually read the story. Lots of people make comments about it to do with mental health and I'm interested to actually read the story and find out what it actually, like, how it actually tells the story of this character because it does sound really interesting but I think a lot of people haven't read it and they just sort of think they know the story so I'm quite interested I'm quite excited and it's a really short book we are on roll number four That's a one, and that is a dark blue, which is another fantasy. For my fourth roll, I landed on fantasy, and I decided to choose Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Technically, this has both stories in it. I might read one, I might read both of them. We'll see. It's not long. It's like, it looks long. It's only about 200 or so pages for the two stories. There's lots of notes and things about it in the back and probably a long introduction at the beginning as well yes however this is one of the books on my priority list for this year and I still haven't got to it so I should probably get to it by the way this shelf is my priority books for this year which is why it's so empty I only had 12 books at the beginning of the year and now I've got I mean including this one six we're halfway there Two months to read all of these books. It'll be fine. I'll do it. They're um, being protected by wrestlers right now. John Cena and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Just so you know. Everyone probably knows this story as well. I only know the story from watching movies about it, but I'm quite interested to read the original story. I'm quite interested to read this story because it's supposed to be really well written. It's supposed to have a really good use of language in this story and I'm quite interested to read it. It should be an easy read as it is initially aimed at children, so hopefully, I know I've said this a lot, but hopefully it'll be an easy read. That is the theme of this TBR. Roll number five is a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, seriously? <laughs> that is the two times challenge card square, so I now have to pick two cards from here. So we've got a subscription box and a female author. For my fourth roll, I landed on two times challenge card. This is why I'm having problems today. So I chose two challenge cards, subscription box and female author. So for my subscription box pick, I went for Beyond the Dark and Shore by Jessica Leek. So I got this, I think in a fairy loot box back in 2018. I don't know a lot about this story, but when I first got it, I, I remember not being too impressed. Like, I haven't read it. I don't know how good it is, but I don't know. The cover looks a bit depressing. Like, 
I don't know. I just had very meh feelings about it when I first got it. But I have looked up the blurb on it for this video and it does sound quite intriguing. So this book is about a princess who has the power to control people's minds. Now that got my attention. So this princess has been getting prophecies from crows. That's what it says. And she meets a thief who has been getting the same prophecy. I believe they're enemies and they have to join forces in order to protect their land. I don't really know a lot. I didn't want to like look into it too much but I think it sounds more interesting than I initially gave it credit for. So this book is just over 400 pages. It's probably one of the longer books on my TBR this month but it's young adult so it shouldn't be the most complex read and I quite like young adult fantasy so it should be good. We'll see. I'm willing to give this a really good chance and you know it's been on my shelf for a long time and it it's about time that I actually tried it. So I'm interested to find out more about this princess with the ability to control people's minds. So then for a book written by a female author I decided to go for The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. This book has been quite popular recently especially during the summer. It is a contemporary story. It's about two people who share a one bedroom flat and I believe one of them works daytime one of them works nighttime. So technically they share a bed but they never met each other. Now my first concern is how often do they change the sheets. However it sounds cute it sounds like a bit of fun. I think it's just going to turn into a trashy romance story but again an easy read which is what we need this month. Yeah it's been quite popular recently so hopefully I'll enjoy it as much as everyone else seems to. Okay and then roll number six is a one and that blue is adult fiction. For my next role I landed on adult fiction and for this book I have chosen Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. Now I haven't heard a lot about this book. I think I heard it in a podcast one time and I only have a really vague idea about the story. So I believe it is set in a cafe where people can time travel but they have to get back to the present day before their coffee gets cold. So I'm not sure if this is like a series of short stories that are all set in the same cafe or if it's like one story that's sort of like stretched out. Like the whole book takes place in like 20 minutes. But it sounds like a really fun concept. I don't really read time travel books but I've seen time travel movies and I enjoy them. So this one, sh it, it sounds like fun. It's something quite different to what I'd normally read so I think I probably enjoy it and you know I think it's got a lot of humour in it probably. I don't actually know. Okay, and my final roll is a nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That shade of green is a middle grade. And for my final roll, I landed on middle grade. Yay! I'm gonna read Hollow Box. <laughs> so I mentioned this book in my previous TBR, but this is the third book in the Morgan. Crow series. I love this series. I'm rereading the previous book which is Wondersmith at the moment and I'm loving it. This book came out like a couple of weeks ago and it it was supposed to come out in August and I've been anticipating it all year. I literally ordered it back in October last year and it didn't come out until October this year so I've been waiting a long time and I'm very excited to finally get to this book. I'm so excited for this it's the only book I've been anticipating for this year, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but it's a, it's such a beautiful, like magical, incredible world, and the characters are so much fun, and I I just love being back in this world again, and I can't wait to see what happens in the third book. And this is like the middle of the series. There are going to be three more books after this one. That's going to be so good. I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm so excited! Those are the eight books on my November TBR. This is the stack of the physical ones, but there's another four on my Kindle. I mean, I'm happy with the choice of books this month, but 
there's just a lot. The least I could say is that a lot of them are quite short or they're aimed at children and should be easier to read. I'm really not expecting to finish this TBR this month. It's intimidating but it is what it is. But that's all for this TBR video. Let me know what your plans for reading this month are and I will see you very soon.